hello to everyone who clicked on this video my name is taylor regine if you are new and if you are not welcome back of course and for those of you who keep coming back i want to thank you and of course thank all of my new subscribers for being here and continuing to support me so in today's reading we're going to be taking a look at who is constantly thinking about you okay who can't get you off their mind so I have three piles in front of me and I have these little mini paper clips today, which are so cute. Um, so we have pile number one, which is the orange paper clip, pile number two, which is the red paper clip, and then pile number three, which is this blue sort of turquoise type of paper clip. So I'm going to have all of the timestamps linked in the description box for you guys down below as usual, and I will see you at your pile. Hello to everyone who chose pile number one. This is going to be your reading on who is constantly thinking about you. So we're going to go ahead and jump right in. Constantly thinking about my pile number one. thinking about my pile number one. All right, we got two different messages here. Pile number one, this is somebody who thinks about you sexually that is not supposed to be thinking about you sexually. So... I'm seeing like charts and I'm also seeing someone sit in a desk or at a table across from you. So for some of you, this could be your boss or college professor or something like that. Um, if not, because now I'm seeing a Band-Aid, this is somebody who provides you a service. So like a doctor or a therapist. Basically, the energy that I'm getting is like, this person is supposed to be acting like professional with you, but they think about you in like a sexual way. And so they try to be inconspicuous with the way they look at you, or it could even come across as them being very cold to you as well, because they don't want anybody to pick up on the way they feel. And so it's that sort of energy. So if you have like a boss that is like super mean to you or just like really short with you, um, it could be that person. I really am seeing this person try to kind of like hold a poker face or something, but they definitely look at you when you like walk away. Um, and I think, okay, look, check this out. That's not going to be for everybody, but if this is someone who was being super nice to you at one point and then just like switched up out of nowhere, um, it's because other people around you guys notice the way this person either looks at you or treats you and it's because they don't want to get in trouble. Now for others of you, this could be like, um, a significant other of a like friend or family member that just happens to think that you are very pretty, um, and they just look at you that sort of way. Whoever this is has a really distinct smell. They could have really nice cologne or perfume. Um, and they could have really thick, bushy eyebrows. Uh, something about lenses or eye coverings. This person could wear color contacts con or regular contacts. Ugh, excuse me, sorry, I just burped. That was so gross. <laughs> Or this person could even wear glasses, okay? I <laughs> just heard spectacles. Maybe they call them spectacles. <laughs> um, if not, there's something going on with this person's like eyebrow or something. They could have like a beauty mark or maybe like a scar on their eyebrow or like a piece of their eyebrow could be missing um, or something like that. And of course, that's not going to be for everyone. Um, for others of you, this person could be watching you on social media. This person definitely fantasizes about you a lot, like what it would be like to be with you uh, in a sexual way. And sometimes even in like a relationship type of way, but I don't think this person knows you very well. So um, 
they could be trying to find your social media. This is somebody who would make like a fake page to find you because it would be inappropriate for them to add you on their real page. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead. We're gonna get some tarot cards because I don't want this reading to be long. So you got two of cups and a seven of coins in reverse. This is like somebody who wants to be in a relationship with you, but they don't really know how. Um, or maybe there's like obstacles in between with the seven of pentacles in reverse. Let's see who is constantly thinking about my pile number one. We have the ace of wands, it is in reverse. We have the five of swords. We have the king of cups, it is in reverse. We have the Queen of Coins. Um, and then we have the Six of Coins. Bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Swords. Yeah, see, like this person has to like sneak and look at you. This is somebody who could honestly uh, have like a whole family, be married. Um, things like that because we have the king of cups and the queen of coins here um, so this person is definitely like in some sort of commitment or relationship or like I was saying before this is like a work situation um, so we're like they're over you in some sort of way especially with the six of coins here you see how like this big figure is over all of these people who he is like giving money to or guiding in some sort of way and so they definitely think of you sexually here with this ace of wands all right and you got some people jealous that this person is like thinking about you or giving you attention with this five of swords here and people could honestly be gossiping about it especially if somebody has like peeped this person looking at you because they can't be inconspicuous with it and they and they need a, a lesson in espionage like yeah it could be um some people who 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 peep that um if this person is in a relationship i do feel like this person fantasizes about um stepping out and being with you take what resonates leave what doesn't i'm just reading the cards um let's see why this person is constantly thinking about you and then we'll end it why is this person constantly thinking about my pal number one? See, and with this King of Cups, don't this look like a doctor? <laughs> like, they have, he has this like thing on his head that the doctors used to wear. I don't know if anybody remembers that, but um, it could definitely be a doctor. This person could have facial hair, it doesn't have to. Let's see, why are they constantly thinking? About my pile one. We have Ten of Swords. We have Queen of Swords. And then we have the Seven of Coins in reverse. And then we have the Page of Coins. This could honestly be somebody who already made a move on you, but you turned them down due to the circumstances. Like a lot of you already know who this person is. Um, and they think that you're being really cold to them, really like bitchy to them. So this could be somebody who asked you to be like a side chick and you like, hell no, absolutely not. <laughs> and if that is not this, this person, or if that is not it, excuse me, this person is definitely having a wandering eye because the current situation that they're in is failing. Um, and it's pretty much over. So this could even be somebody who has like, a family like I was saying before um, and they're like just staying together for like the kids or something like that all right let's get an oracle card and end it for my pal number one all right we have action we have indecision Patience, be a healer of the ages. I'm only going to take one. 
Oh, snap. Yo, this person thinks that you're like their other half or something. Like, I swear, if this, this is like some I wish I would have met you before I met this other person type of thing. This is weird. <laughs> All right, we got an uh, angel of strength. Endure to value. See, money keeps coming up. This is def this could definitely be somebody at work. Yeah, this person definitely either wants to make a move on you or is going to make a move on you. They can't decide though, right? You have this action, indecision, and angel of strength here, but they want to come through and they want to like protect you and like be with you and guide you. They really do see you as somebody who they can build with, um, someone who will be a valuable asset to them, but they just don't know if they want all of the negative energies and emotions that comes along with pursuing you well all right i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna end your reading there pile number one thank you so much for letting me read for you today don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time hello to everyone who chose pile number two this is going to be your reading on who is constantly thinking about you so let's go ahead and jump right in was constantly thinking about my pile number two. This could be somebody who lives at a distance from you, who you uh, talk to over the phone. Or if this person does not live at a distance from you, then you can definitely have like super long phone conversations with this person. Um, this is someone who, sorry, let me get this other card out before I start talking. Jesus. I only want one. <laughs> this is someone who has a lot of love to give. Okay, so this person is bubbly. They're funny. They could love to dance. This is someone who uh, could also be a part of the LGBT community. Um, very, very colorful person. And this is a very, very beautiful person as well. They have a really nice body, a really nice shape. They could have very like wide hips and a round But if this is a woman, I'm definitely picking up a lot of feminine energy. Um, regardless if this is like a male or female, I do feel like this person has a lot of feminine energy. Not to say they are not masculine as a male. This is just someone who is very emotional and does not mind tapping into those types of energies this is someone who is amazing at communicating all right and if you are in a relationship with this person um or just know this person in any sort of way they would be good at communication or like problem solving or if you were to have a misunderstanding with them it would be very easy to talk it out with this person without it going to like an extreme or like a next level or something negative. This is a very, very mature person. Someone who has done a lot of inner work. Um, they have like a really healing energy. You could have really healing phone conversations with this person. <laughs> it's just like they just wanna give the entire world all of their love amazing person whoever this is and i'm kind of jealous that you know them so there's that <laughs> this is someone who's very very blessed um this could be a very very spiritual person an intuitive person too it doesn't have to be for all of you there's something about uh work here so Hold on, that's my cat. I'm gonna let him out. Give me one second. All right, sorry about that. So there's something about work here coming through. So either you met this person at work, this could be a person from your job, or um, maybe you bought some work from this person or whatever this person does for work is very significant. 
very significant. This person could be very financially stable or appear to be very financially stable. I feel like this person <laughs> always looks nice. We got the page of swords in reverse. They definitely stalking you, okay? They definitely stalking you. All right, who is this person? Or who was constantly thinking about pile number two? We got the blank card that's coming out. Like they don't, and then the four swords too. It's just like they don't want to be known. They don't want to be seen. They don't want you to know that they're constantly thinking about you. Something about the silent treatment that's just coming through. This person could be giving you the silent treatment um, or vice versa, or maybe you're not talking as much as you used to, which is funny because this person is super good at communication. We got the 10 of wands. And we got the two of cups in the reverse. We got the page of swords in reverse. Let's see, we got the world card. Um, and then we have the star. We have the six of pentacles that want to come out. This person is very gifted in whatever they do. Okay, we got the knight of cups at the bottom of the deck, by the way. Um, uh, this person loves you, pile number two. So this could be somebody who maybe you just don't have the same feelings for. Um, maybe you broke up with this person if this was a relationship. So we did have the two of cups in reverse. So now they kind of stalk you. And there's nothing wrong with that, right? If you don't like this person and, you know, y'all y'all are not meant to be together, then, you know, it is what it is. Do you, boo-boo. But if it's not that, then it could definitely be the other way around. So put that where it fits. Um, I'm getting the sense, and I'm just going to tell a story here. And you put yourself on whatever side of the story you're on. And this uh, story might not apply to everyone. So it seems like there's a relationship between two people and someone needs to get left behind. And it's not necessarily leaving behind in a negative way. It's just that there are these two people who are not meant to be together. And it doesn't have to be romantic for all of you. This could definitely be a friendship. But it seems like one person has a lot of love for the other person and is having a hard time moving on. And I get a feeling it's because if this person didn't necessarily do anything bad to the other one, they didn't cheat on them, they didn't manipulate them, they didn't talk bad to them. And so it's not an official reason or something negative that happened to make one of these people walk away. It's just simply that they are on two different pages, which is okay. And if these two people were to stay together, I feel like one or both of them would be settling. And that is the issue. There's definitely a lot of emotion going on here and this is not an easy decision, but once these two people walk away from each other, it just seems like there's something or someone else coming in that will be better suited for each of these people. So don't get me wrong, when I say leave behind, it's not that one of them is better or worse than the other. Cause I'm being shown the five of cups. It's just that somebody is not getting what they want out of this relationship, right? Like with the five of cups, we have three cups knocked over and two cups standing. You could want five cups and this person can only offer you two cups. And it's not to say that they're bad for only having two cups. They just need to go and find somebody else who only wants two cups, if that makes sense. Okay, uh, if that is not it, then this could be a friendship where somebody feels like they're being taken advantage of or it's imbalanced. So the example I'm getting is 
somebody calls to dump all of their anxieties on another person, right? This is somebody who could call you to vent or vice versa. And they feel like when they call you to vent, like you're never there. Or maybe they feel like you only call them with bad news or they only call you with bad news or only to vent. Like this gives me the energy of like, you see somebody hanging out and going out with their other friends. They're going to the movies. They're going like out to eat. They're going to the museum. They're going on trips. But then when it comes to you, like they only call you to vent or to talk because you give great advice or you're really healing to this person. But it's like, that's all that they they call for. So it's like one person is kind of like stepping back from that because they feel like they're putting in more effort to this friendship or relationship than the other person. All right. So I hope that was not confusing. Oopsie, we got the Queen of Cups in reverse. See, someone is pouring into the, another person's cup. Um, like, or overgiving in a situation. All right, so let's see why this person is thinking about my pile number two. We have the Ace of Swords, Seven of Swords in reverse, and the Tower card. Why is this person thinking about my pile number two? Why is this person constantly thinking about my pile number two? All right, we got the Three of Swords. We got the Knight of Swords in reverse. And then we have the King of Swords in, in reverse. See, yeah, somebody feels like they're getting manipulated in whatever situation. And then we have the Eight of Cups in reverse. Somebody wants to walk away and is scared to walk away um, or is having a hard time walking away. It's a delayed message the Knight of, with the Knight of Swords in reverse, but it's coming through. It's coming through. All right, let's go ahead. We are going to... Grab some oracle cards. We have the king of swords in reverse here. One or you or the other person could be an air sign. Definitely doesn't have to be. Or I'm hearing a really logical, really analytical person. All right, we have the world. We have a door to romance. Ooh. Let me flip this one back over. That was a thinking woman that came through. Okay, and then we have yin and yang. All right, goddess of the moon at the bottom of the deck. I think I said that earlier that this person could be intuitive or psychic or something like that. We also had the queen of cups in reverse come out earlier. So you or this person could be thinking about um, how to have a conversation with one or the other person. And I'm getting for like, a small few of you, this is going to be a small few, that this is somebody who could have maybe like breadcrumbed you or vice versa. And I feel like um, maybe this person had like commit commitment issues or something like that. And they are finally coming in with commitment with this Eight of Cups in reverse, right? This is like somebody who was like back and forth, hot and cold, like walking away. And now with this Eight of Cups in reverse, this person is trying to come back because they see you as their other half. But for a lot of you, I do feel like this is gonna be a cycle that is going to be completed. And for those of you who that is true for, remember, regardless on what end of the spectrum you are on when it comes to this reading, you have good things coming your way, new connections coming your way. And if God, the universe, whatever you believe in is removing someone from your life. It is only to make room for the person that you are truly supposed to be with. Friendship, romance, whatever it is, pound number two, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end your reading there. Thank you so much for letting me read for you today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.
Hello to everyone who chose pile number three. This is going to be your reading on who is constantly thinking about you. Now, pile number three, you have a lot of people who are thinking about you. Okay. You have a lot of people who are thinking about you. So you're going to get more cards than the other two piles. You could be really popular. A lot of people could see you. You could have a lot of friends or something like that. Mm -hmm. He is constantly thinking about my pile number three. Okay. I'm gonna try not to like burn these cards. Okay, so you have the first energy here that is constantly thinking about you, pal number three. This is somebody, they could have really big lips. That's not going to be for everybody. Or there's something about their mouth. This is somebody who gossips about you. Uh, this could be someone who you are still close with. You need to watch out for this person. This could be like a friend of me or something like that. I am hearing that some of you already know and you are kind of like pulling back from this person. But um, I would not tell my plans to this person. They know that you have some sort of goal in mind, uh, some sort of dream or just something that you are trying to do. And either this is someone, I don't wanna say who's trying to actively sabotage your plan, although they could be true for some of you. This is just somebody who um, doesn't think your plan is going to work because you might dream bigger than this person. So this is someone who is projecting their insecurities on you uh, for whatever reason. So if you are trying to open up a business or get a degree or just do like some, I don't know, just do something that makes you happy. This is somebody who is like putting like negativity on your work. So um, they're giving me a message or putting an emphasis on keeping your projects to yourself or making moves in silence because everyone who you think might be happy for you is not happy for you. So you don't need any extra energy on it. Um, so don't tell people about your plans until after it's already complete, right? because uh, you don't want anybody to mess up what you got going on. This second individual who is constantly thinking about you. You know, let's go back to this first individual for a second because I'm getting something else about them. This is somebody who like secretly wants you to fail because they don't want you to do better than them, pal number one. I'm sorry, pal number three. Some about somebody like in your pockets or pocket watching. I don't know. The image that I'm being given is you wa walking over like a bridge, like a bridge that has planks on it. But this person is like under the bridge looking up at you. It's kind of weird for it to come through like that. I don't know what that means, but maybe it means something to you. Um, but like I was saying before, just... I wouldn't trust this person, but let's move on because I don't want this reading to get super long. And you got a lot of people watching you, pal number three. All right, so this second person uh, is someone who is very sexually attracted to you. Uh, this is somebody who is thinking about you, fantasizing about you like romantically. Um, and for now, before we pull tarot cards, they're definitely giving me a serious type of like king-like energy. Um, so if you're in a relationship, this could easily be your significant other who is thinking about you because they love you. Um, if not, you definitely have some sort of like secret admirer or somebody who wants to come forward um, and say something to you here, pal number three. Mm, some of you could be viewed somewhere where you have like a lot of people viewing you. You have people who you don't know who are thinking about you. Um and maybe waiting for you to do something or say something. So that's gonna be for a few people. 
because I'm seeing somebody who are who's like on the other side of the world or just like in a different location who is thinking about you. Pile number three. Um, others of you, there are people at work who are thinking about you. And if there um, is people across the world thinking about you, you could provide a service to them. So if you work online or do anything like that, um, you have those people who are thinking about you. So some people could be thinking about how they're waiting to get like a service from you. Um, and so if you got some people waiting, then that's what that is. They could be waiting to receive a product if you ship something out but we are going to dig a little deeper in a second now this other person this other person here there's somebody who's thinking about you who was like i don't know their energy is like hard to tap into maybe they don't want you to know that they're thinking about you or this person has gone as far as to like mask themselves or put up a block of some sort because what i'm kind of seeing is Y'all know like on them old school TVs when it loses signal and it like <laughs> uh, has that screen with all those like dots on it. I don't know what it's called, but it's like you can't make out their face. Like you can't see, it's like scattered. Let's go ahead, we're gonna grab some tarot and um, we'll figure out a little bit more about these energies. Okay. Right, he was constantly thinking about my pile number one. And the death card. Okay, so seven of cups. We have the death card. You see, you got so many people. Look at all these people with the seven of cups. We have the death card. We have the chariot. And then we have the Nine of Swords. We also have the Four of Wands. It is in reverse. Okay, yeah, so this first person definitely just doesn't want you to surpass them. This is somebody who gaslights you. This is, this is somebody who could be all up in your business, asking you a lot of questions. Um, you could live with this person. It could be a family member. Um, Mm. For some of you, this is gonna be for very, very few of you. This could, per this could be somebody who like searched your stuff in the past, or like stole from you in the past, or just like something weird like that. That's not gonna be for everybody. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Yeah. All right, we're moving on from this first energy. This person is scared because they don't want you to do better than them on some weird stuff. All right, let's do this second energy. Who's that? Oh. He's constantly thinking about my pal. Number three. We're gonna do these other energies all at the same time, just for time's sake. <laughs> Knight of Wands. <laughs> In reverse. Who is this person? We have the chariot card again. And then who is this last person? We have the devil. Interesting. Let's go ahead, we'll clarify these cards. Cool. 
All right, so pile number three, expect someone to come and make you some sort of passionate offer. We do have the Knight of Wands here in reverse. So that was that sexual energy that I was talking about earlier, somebody wanting to come and make you an offer. So expect to be asked out on a date um, or something like that very, very soon because this person is going to make a move. I'm seeing the Two of Swords, this person, um, or Two of Swords in reverse. Uh, this person has decided to make a move towards you. Uh, just use your intuition though, because this person is very sexually attracted to you. Um, so at this point, I feel like that might be like all they're thinking about, uh, but it's only because this person does not know you personally. So this is somebody who wants to get to know you to see if there is potential um, for this to flourish into something more. So you guys have a romantic offer that is coming in. Now, for others of you with this work situation, you could be, you could be a boss if you chose this pile or have, or have people under you in some sort of way. And if that's not it, you could be like in like a toxic, like work environment or something like that, where there's like a lot of gossip that is going on. So you could have like some gossip or something going on like that at work. Um, and people are like constantly like in your business or could even be saying things like, uh, you are dating somebody at work. Somebody could even be dating a boss here, or that could be like the word on the street. If that's not it, uh, you provide a service to people, pile number three. Um, so therapists, maybe some guidance or something like that, because with the devil and the king of cups here, there are people who have like toxic situations going on in their lives, um, who are looking for some love for some guidance or for some sort of something like you could even be a doctor in this pile. So people who have like toxins in their body or are sick could come to you for um some sort of like guidance or something like that and so you're having people think about your words or the guidance that you have given them all right what's going on with this chariot in this tower car look it's somebody who like super hidden who is just i don't know i don't know about this person but i'm gonna make it quick with this tower and this chariot car who is this other person? See, you see this Queen of Swords in reverse? And then we got the Five of Wands. Yeah, this is somebody who's in like secret competition with you or just like, could even be like sending you like evil eye or negative energy or something like that. Like this person is waiting or watching to see or even coming to like bring whatever tower this is in your life um, or at least thinking about it, right? With the Queen of Swords, when she comes out in reverse, like it's somebody who's plotting, somebody who's planning. And the level of jealousy, the level of competition is just sick at this point with this five of wands in reverse. Like, get over yourself, whoever this is. This is somebody who really don't have no time on their hands, obviously. If they're just worried about you this much, pound number three, um, they just don't. Like, they're so busy, like, looking at you and watching you and wanting or waiting or could even be planning something um it could be an air sign with the queen of swords here don't have to be but this is definitely a feminine energy so definitely watch your surroundings closely or you could even pray for this person to be revealed to you uh some of you already know who this is All right, let's go here. We're gonna get some Oracle cards to end it. To end it, we got the sun here. My pile number three is beautiful. My pile number three is talented. And most of all, my pile number three is happy. My pile number three is happy. And I heard nonchalant. Something about, something about you not having to work too hard or put in too much effort, or maybe like you don't care or something like that. Like, it's just like, people want you to put energy in places where you don't want to put energy and they're mad that you're not putting energy there. Long story short, hopefully that made sense. <laughs> like, not them caring about what you do with your life. <laughs> 
All right, let's wrap it up for my pile number three. Who is thinking about them or why? All right, we got the goddess of the moon. We have adjacent possibilities. And then we have patience. We have angel of strength. We got the goddess of the moon here. You could be psychic if you chose this pile. We have adjacent possibilities and patience. Multifaceted. You have more than one thing going on. You could have multiple streams of income. You got plans. You got plans on plans on plans, okay? You got plans. You got backup plans. And, like, it just seems like... You just vibing and with patience here this reminds me of the temperance card i feel like you're very emotionally stable you just don't i don't know i just feel like you don't have to do too much and um, you're attracting like different types of people you have people who love the energy because it's really healing it's really nurturing and it's just it's really beautiful and i feel like you're a very beautiful person here pile number three coming out as goddess of the moon you can be very advanced in your craft or whatever you do. And so you're going to attract a lot of people to you. That's probably why you have so many people thinking about you. Because you're attracting a lot of good energy and a lot of good people. But you're also attracting like some negative like haters here too, pal number three. Really captivating energy. It's like you pull people in. I know this reading is getting so long. I'm about to end it. Don't worry. But yeah, it's just like, like I was saying before, you just pull a lot of people in with not only your physical appearance, but just like your energy. And so be careful because people definitely want to take that from you. You could be used to having like a lot of people who hate you for no reason. <laughs> like that's just what I'm getting. And so to end it, I'm just gonna say it, like you're going to be successful no matter what. Like, I feel like this pile is like destined for great things. Um, and that's why you want so many people's mind, okay? Period. All right, let's go ahead and we'll end it there. Thank you so much for letting me read for you today, pile number three. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.